Sorry, my phone died. It's nothing. I'm fine. These allegations are completely unfounded. Technology known as linguistic text analysis has helped to identify four such common patterns in the subconscious language of deception. First, liars reference themselves less when making deceptive statements. They write or talk more about others, often using the third person to distance and disassociate themselves from their lie. Which sounds more false? Absolutely no party took place at this house, or I didn't host a party here. Second, liars tend to be more negative because, on a subconscious level, they feel guilty about lying. For example, a liar might say something like, Sorry, my stupid phone battery died. I hate that thing. Third, liars typically explain events in simple terms, since our brains struggle to build a complex lie. Judgment and evaluation are complex things for our brains to compute. As a U.S. president once famously insisted, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. And finally, even though liars keep descriptions simple, they tend to use longer and more convoluted sentence structure, inserting unnecessary words and irrelevant but factual-sounding details in order to pad the lie. Another president confronted with a scandal proclaimed, I can say categorically that this investigation indicates that no one on the White House staff, no one in this administration presently employed was involved in this very bizarre incident. So how can you apply these lie-spotting techniques to your life? First, Remember that many of the lies we encounter on a daily basis are far less serious than these examples, and may even be harmless. But it's still worthwhile to be aware of telltale clues like minimal self-references, negative language, simple explanations, and convoluted phrasing.